everybody, this is Jim. You know how your friends call you and they say, I bought an import. And you're like, what the fuck? Why'd you do that? You know? I have mean friends. When I say he bought an import, I'm talking he bought, you couldn't even buy this in this country. They gotta be so old to actually import them. No, I'm not playing camera tricks. Right hand drive. Four wheel drive. Diesel. It's actually a pretty cool little thing. So I just don't have to tell him that. We're in a garage. It ain't my garage, but look at the size of this cab. People can say crew cabs. Screw it. I mean, look at the size of this thing. I mean, that's the back seat. Simplicity in itself. So I'm getting, we're going to fix this. We're keeping some of this. Some of this is going to go. We're going to turn around. It's going to be a camper up here. Storage down here. Uh, right now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a lift kit on it. And it's got 27 inch tires. We're going to, we got it figured out so we can get a 32 inch tire in there. And, uh, like I said, it's four wheel drive. Uh, kind of a cool little thing. This used to be a fire truck. Then it was imported to here and still got a lot of the stuff, PA. And they took the switch box out for all that, but we're stripping all that off because we're going to put a roof rack up here and exoskeleton it with a roof rack where the one speaker was we're going to take this off and we're going to put a, one of my electric rotator lights here but i mean this thing it's got a ton of room in it just gotta get used it'll be first as instead of being first next to your leg now first is just like in a normal car all the way over up second third fourth fifth uh motor it's kind of neat how the you access this. This is the high ace. You come in here, pop that. Fairly easy to work on it. Get some light here. There's your radiator. Power steering. Old IDI diesel. And what's really nice also is you come back here. Let me get this light out of my eyes. I'm blinding myself. You take, well, I gotta have the light on again, dang it. If you turn around, this sun snaps. When you unsnap that, there's your access panel to the back of the motor. I'm not going to undo all that because that's bolted in, so I'm not going to unbolt it. This seat folds down. This comes out, and it sits there. But, I mean, got a ton of room back here. Beautiful. And this is all built in. They are super sturdy. We'll get underneath here. I mean, this thing is simplicity to work with. We're going to change the exhaust around. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of leakage on the transmission. It's not dripping, so we'll just look at seals. But here's your battery. We're going to separate this, and we're going to mount a second battery. Uh... 8 inch rear, 7.5 inch front, hydraulic clutch. I mean, this thing, like I said, it's just simplicity to work on, you know. Ain't even going to worry about getting manuals because we've already figured most of it out on the heat and everything else just by how it's built. So, when he told me he bought an import, he got an import all right. Um this back down so I don't forget 
It's got a hand throttle on it. Here's your emergency brake. Here's your hand throttle. So if you're doing something like that, so if you're using a winch or something, you can turn around and idle it up. Got a hand throttle. Another cool design, this here is for the snorkel. Um, it don't snorkel like a snorkel uh, does. Your air filter is mounted under here. This is a door. So if you're going in deep water, you pull this out and it closes it so it can't get air in there. And the cab of the truck, they tell it says you have to open your windows a little bit on both sides because the cab of the truck now becomes the air intake if you're in deep water. So that that's how that works. You just pull that up and it open there's a valving here. See if I can see how that moves and it makes it so it actually becomes it closes there down there and puts it up here um so that's kind of cool um yeah i don't know what else to say really uh uh i think i covered we're looking 32 inch tires we're not sure on a winch because he wants a winch, but I'm like, well, we can either try building a winch mount or we could do a receiver on the front and back. And he does want a back receiver, but then he could use the same winch for both and just put an electrical plug on there. And then one winch would do front or back. We're going to clean off all this stuff. And then we're going to put the roof rack camper up here where this tarp and all that's going to go clean all this down and uh we're going to keep this headache rack the back add one more and then we're going to put an extra fuel cell because you only get a little 10 gallon tank not a lot of fuel but it gets good fuel mileage but we're going to go to the farm store and get um one of them fuel cells and that that thing's rock solid so we'll bolt it right to that but uh this is his new toy what's well, nice i can actually work on this because it don't cost me nothing i actually make money for doing this so this one you know won't say because some parts we got to import so the lift kit we're looking at uh is out of australia we're not totally sure we're going with that but this was actually made and used in that you know so you know you're looking jdm parts and that so a lot of that's all import um so we just gotta figure out what we can and can't use and i know we can get a two inch lift in the america but I want to compare it to what the uh, company in Australia that sets these up for mining use does. So, on it does have the sliding back window. So, I mean, it's actually, it's a pretty cool toy. So, when he sent me pictures, I'm like, ah, that's, that, you know, okay, I can, I can work with this. Um, it's actually in really, there's 10,000 kilometers on it and it's a 92. This thing never left the, the city block. Uh, it was just a local fire truck, and that's what it is. But super clean. No rust anywhere. I mean, it's just immaculate. So, all right. We'll see you all later.